Hey, welcome to birdsupplies.com's YouTube channel. Today, this video is going to be about how to bathe a bird. And it's really important to bathe your bird. A lot of people don't realize that, but let me tell you why it's important. You know, birds get dry skin just like you and I do. And you know how miserable that is when your skin's all itchy and you haven't showered and, and uh, moisturized yourself in a few days. It gets really miserable and your birds have the same experience in fact maybe worse because they're from tropical humid areas like rainforests and jungles and so it can really affect their skin health bathing also removes the dirt and debris that lands on your birds feathers you know throughout the day as they're playing on their play stands and climbing about their cage and uh, you don't want your bird preening itself and eating all that dirt and debris yeah that's what, another reason to bathe them Bathing cleans and moisturizes the feathers, and it also promotes healthy preening. So, so it's really important to get into the habit of bathing your bird frequently. So before I get to the uh, full video here, let me introduce myself. I'm Diane Burrows. I am the founder and CEO of birdsupplies.com, which is a website that's dedicated to supporting feather plucking parrots and parrots with other unwanted behaviors. So my company manufactures a range of products, you know, from soft collars to support feather pluckers to dietary supplements and sprays that support the nutritional needs of all parrots. And I have a lot of educational materials in terms of helping birds with, uh, helping you train your bird if it has unwanted behaviors. So in my practice, one of the biggest mistakes I see on a daily basis almost is that people just don't know how to bathe their birds and they don't know how to train their bird to actually enjoy taking a bath. But if you think about it, our birds again are from tropical rainforests and jungles and those are areas that get rain almost daily. So wild birds are showered on very frequently and um, you know, if you think about the wild birds around your own home, um, you know, a lot of people, one of the most popular yard um, art pieces is a bird bath because people love watching how the wild birds just come to their bath and, and love to bathe in there. It's fun to watch. I've had one in the, in the past myself. So wild birds model bathing and preening for their young. Parrots will, you know, take their bird, have their bird babies fly to uh, puddles and creeks and rivers and stuff and show them how to bathe. Um, our hand-fed birds just probably didn't get that luxury at all. In fact, uh, uh, you know, there, it used to be a practice, I, I think I still hear sometimes about people doing this, but people, you know, have in the past squirted their birds with a water bottle as a form of discipline, like they're trying to get them to be quiet and stuff. And so those birds have become very averse to training or they just haven't learned how to bathe. And so it's really important to work with your pet and train it to enjoy taking a bath. And it's not as hard as it sounds. I mean, you really just need like a clicker. You need to learn what your bird's favorite treat is and have like a training perch, which could in fact be the shower perch. So you're going to want to start off with a, um, with the step of allowing your bird to tolerate seeing the bathing device, whether it's a spray bottle or a shower perch. Or uh, one thing I use with my little green cheek conure is like a pet, an automatic pet watering dish where sh she likes to get in there and, and, you know, splash around. So training the bird to tolerate seeing the bathing device. You'll have the device in front of them, you'll show the bird, if the, every time the bird looks at it, you'll click the clicker as a sound that the bird's about ready to get a reward, a treat, and then you'll treat it. And then you'll slowly work on having the bird tolerate getting closer and closer to the bathing device. And then you'll also want to have the bird tolerate the sound that the device emits. So if it's a spray mister bottle, you'll want the bird to become accustomed to that sound. If it's uh, like the pet watering dish that Kiwi uses, I want him to get used to that sound. And so as the bird is hearing the sound, uh, being comfortable seeing the item, then you'll want to start rewarding the bird for touching the, the item, perching on it and then finally you'll be wanting to reward the bird for tolerating getting wet and uh, finally you're going to tolerate the bird for um, allowing itself to have a good soaking 
So that's how you go about training a bird, is you break it up into small reachable steps and you teach them what a clicker is, that every time it clicks they're going to get rewarded, and then you reward the behaviors that you want to see and you ignore the behaviors that you don't want to see. So like I said, there's several ways that you can bathe a bird, and it, some of it's size dependent. So uh, there's these misting bottles that are available. Some of them are pump where you have to pump it. Other ones, I have one that's a big one for my Moluccan and my African Grey where it's actually a garden sprayer that can have a very fine mist and I'll spray my birds with that, my big birds. Um, you can also bathe them in the um, shower or in the sink. There's shower perches available. Some birds like to bathe in a bowl and a lot of little birds like parrotlets and parakeets and stuff like to bathe in leafy greens as if you know they would that's how they would bathe in a forest they'd bathe themselves in the wet moist leaves I had one customer buy one of our car seats our bird car seats and she used that in the shower because the shower perches in the shower you have suction cups usually and the suction cups have to be applied to a smooth clean surface like glass um, so if you've got kind of um, variegated tile the shower perches are are not a good choice you'll have to choose another method so here's a picture of Kiwi in his automatic cat water bowl. And he, uh, I use that several times a week and he loves it. Um, and uh, you know, I use those very same training methods with him to get him to enjoy this. So he'll play in that bowl for about a half hour on his bathing days. Now in terms of feather pluckers, um, I recommend teaching them to bathe with an aloe vera spray. And the reason that is, is because aloe vera it has a, uh, is a natural plant that is considered kind of a wonder plant because it is so um, healing. In fact, it, it has numerous healing properties. Aloe vera is like an analgesic, so it soothes and um, dry and irritated skin, which our tropical birds are prone to. And it also contains antibacterial, antifungal, and antiviral properties that prevent infections. And uh, then it, it finally contains anti-inflammatory pr uh, properties, which is great for feather pluckers who are pulling their feathers out. It's great for arthritic birds. Um, so aloe vera is really just a really useful spray, a bath spray that you can use on your bird. Uh, it's great for all species of birds, even, you know, I've seen it used on chicken sites and stuff too. It's especially helpful when a bird is molting or, or feather plucking. So molting and growing new feathers is really hard on a bird's body. Like those feather follicle areas become inflamed uh, when the new pin feathers coming through and the skin's just really sensitive. Uh, plus, you know, growing feathers is nutritionally taxing and the bird is feeling kind of weak and stressed out anyway. So a good analgesic anti-inflammatory spray is going to be really helpful for them. And then when you get think about feather pluckers, um, that's also very uh, um, taxing on the body. Feather pluckers are in a constant state of regrowing feathers and so they're going to benefit from a daily aloe vera bath and even another supplement called feathered up. Um, but every time a bird plucks a feather out, you know, it um, this, the feather is held in place by the skin and so when the bird pulls the entire feather out um, shaft and all, it's ripping a little bit of skin off of as well. And so that leaves the skin vulnerable to infections and then in inflammation as well. So, you know, that's another reason that aloe vera is such a great spray for feather pluckers. Um, it, it's going to soothe the, that painful skin, it's going to ward off infections, and it's going to uh, really support um, the inflamed, inflammation. So uh, how do you get your bird to enjoy getting sprayed? We talked about that already and you would do the same thing for a feather plucker. But uh, it's just really, really important to get into the habit of um, teaching your bird to bathe and making it a routine. So I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, um, please don't hesitate to reach out. Leave some comments in the section below. And uh, if you would subscribe to this video, 
uh, series. I'd really appreciate it. It helps me make more videos when I have subscribers. And um, if you want, you can hit that little bell, which will notify you every time I put a new video up. So I hope that was helpful again, and uh, we'll talk later. Bye-bye.